Emily, your turn. Fresh, very fresh. <laughs> Hints of lemon. Very good. Isabella, Not your turn. Like it. I did like it. <laughs> Welcome to the Joystick Show. I'm Bobby. Dylan. What's up? Joey. And Jerry. And uh, I know this usually has the Joystick Show logo on it, but no. instead we're, uh, we are need, we need to eat food. It's very late in the night. So it's we're just, been a long day. You know, let's get, let's get through this real fucking quick. Yeah. Welcome, you know, mm -hmm. your fellow Welcome. boys here. It'd be Hell cool yeah. if you could do some uh, some YouTube. Uh, yeah, it'd be, like, do, it'd be cool to just spiels. use the mouse and click. We on should some honestly things. just cut the same intro every week. It cuts and we're like, hey, make sure to Not hit like, that uh, button. It's like me with so much less beard from the first episode. Yeah, <laughs> different you're clothes. really well groomed. You're in a yeah. Jerry, Jerry's gone or I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The walls are beige again. Oh, man. But, yes, like the video. Subscribe to Team Joystick. Help subscribe. the boys out. Got a lot of co cool stuff. Just a, just I'm click. fucking beat dead tired because of all the cool yeah. stuff we did today. It was but a lot of cool stuff. I'm happy with the result. Uh, and uh, any anything to add on as far as uh, promoting Team Joystick? I think that's it. I think I nailed every hit. on. Hit, I hope you like the lights. Let people know. Comment and like. You can stuff. fucking comment your fucking, uh, you know, your suggestions for what we're going to put on this pizza right now. Uh, yeah, right, Halloween because, pizza topping. You know, uh, if you like, wanted to know what a stellar topic we're cutting into on this episode, on episode 111. We're ordering 111. a pizza. We're ordering a pizza, yes. All right, what do we get, guys? Literally anything. I normally pizzas. go for stuffed crust. That's just a me thing. But that Detroit style pizza, limited edition. I'll tell you right now, I'm not eating that Detroit style pizza. That looks like it only has. It has six a lot of cheese actually. on it. It looks like, like it only. Me. Yeah, Dylan's. Uh, not, Jerry's right. It looks like it's only a six slice only kind of so thing. The only pizza we're not eating a six slice kind of only. Regular. I want stuffed. Can we do Bobby stuffed? around. Yeah, let's do it. Stuffed crust. Yes. Joey's happy. <laughs> All right. As for toppings, you guys could do whatever. Joey pulling the Jose right now. I'm really hungry. Right, we're, we're, getting we're getting this. We're getting this. We're getting this. <laughs> then I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Large original stuffed crust. Yeah. Toppings. This is important now. I like bacon. I'm fine with bacon. Bacon. Bacon pepperoni, full. Bacon whatever. half. What are we doing? Full. Bacon full. I'll do bacon. Oh, Ain't no shit. bacon bitches here. Half. <laughs> Yo, no cheese, no sauce. Half left, left beef. Left beef. Yeah. None cheese. Classic marinara, regular cheese, right? We're good. Special Do you instructions. Want extra? What are the sauces? On the pizza? Hold on. What? What else? Hey, on hey, the hey, we, we We're not changing that. Barbecue That's like, sauce. No, go, go. No, up. I'm we got to see all. Mm -hmm. We got to see all the options. Yeah, this, right. this is content, man. You can, barbecue, yeah, this is not content. <laughs> no, this, is, this is the opposite of content. People clicking on our video and are watching us order food right yeah. now. Sorry, guys. I hope this make you hungry. Those are your options: classic marinara, creamy garlic, par no, parmesan. Yeah, it is fine. You're damn right. It's We're fine. Done. Everything's Jeez. fine. Cheese? No, Let's what kind of Shut up, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want anything else besides the stuffed crust pizza? I Another pizza. desserts were being talked about. Another pizza. Yeah. A second stuffed crust pizza. I'm not about to pay like $10 for two slices. So you want another pizza? <laughs> yeah. A yeah. non-stuffed crust pizza? I mean, I don't know. I'm not go here back. for I don't know. Go I'm back. here for go answers. Back. No, go back fuck? to the list. Let's do both, the same. Let's the do both stuffed Jesus crust. Add more food. Let's go. Both stuffed crust. Are we getting wings? All right, you could create your own fucking. Let's get the bro. Grab bro. <laughs> so many options. Bro, grab yeah. stuff crust again. Just grab. Just keep it simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I think it's create your own. I don't remember. I don't know. Go back Let's to go, menu. Yeah. This is This is this is hard. All bro, right. Bro, go back to the. the I want main... you guys to try to order a fucking pizza after ten hours of work. On Jesus the, Christ. On the top left, click just click the Papa John thing. Go back click, to the I'm just gonna home. Click create you my own menu. Pizza. Yeah. I'm going to the Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah, there's a button for everybody it. who's yeah. not me. Shut the fuck up right now. How's that? Okay, stuffed crust pizza. We found it. What do you want on this one? Pepperoni. Easy. I'll, Thank I'll you very much. You, you want to see what the fucking sauces are, Joey? <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, yeah. Jerry's mad simple with it. Jerry's like, no, it's pepperoni. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Start thinking about your fucking desserts. The the good one. The good one. Right. <laughs> see what I could do for you. All right. Thank God. Easy, yeah, I think easy. I've only had the, the cinnamon things here. I don't know if I think we tried if they had anything else. I don't that's know good. if there's anything else. That's Those come they kind of like crunchy, you know. It's not it's not totally a vibe. Dessert. All right, here are your dessert. Dessert. Places. Not dessert. We got the Sahara. We got the breaded boneless wings. Shout out to the dessert. <laughs> I, I clicked it. I clicked it. 
Yo, so there we, go. we got Cinnabon Pizza mini Hut. rolls, ultimate chocolate chip cookie, no. a triple chocolate brownie. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, apple pies. And then if you just want the cup of dips. Oh, and cinnamon sticks. All right, so there you go. We each get a cup of icing dip and they call got it a day. cinnamon buns and cinnamon <laughs> sticks. I don't care. Just pick one, please. Um, we got 10 rolls here. What are the cinnamon sticks? Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> and that many sticks? Ten. Ten sticks. You want ten sticks or ten rolls? Bro, let's do that. I feel like one. we would get more with ten rolls, right? But there are many rolls. Not yeah. yeah. That's how they get you. Yeah, go for the sticks. Is it just the stick? I'll go for the sticks up? just because I've never had them before. Dude, the I've never had either, to be honest. And look, it's only 180 calories as opposed to 80, 80 calories. Yeah, that means well, they're smaller. That's how you know yeah, it's bigger. There you go. It's more calories. <laughs> let's get fat. Let's do it. Woo! All right, can I? Can I? That's it. Can yeah. I order this shit now? Let's go. We are done. Thank God. Joey easy. opened his mouth. Like, like, Post traumatic stress. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, <gasps> I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's like, and oh. I want this. All right, it's forty three ninety four, and we'll, we'll work that. Did out. Did you get that yeah. icing dip? It comes with it. You sure? Yo. <sighs> go back. No, don't go back. Get six icing dips. I'm just not getting sure. six <laughs> icing dips. We're double dipping everything. Get six. I, see I am you. licking everything <laughs> you will, we will share. Bro, COVID. But up, but up, up. They, What's they, that? they come, right? I'm just making sure. Edit. Yeah, icing dip, yeah. Dip one, dip Make one, sure dip. you send it to the house next to your house. Joey, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Thank you. Why? He's Whatever. scared. He's really I feel like, like Joey's parents lock him in the, his room <laughs> when they order food. He's like, we're getting takeout. Joey! <laughs> no! <laughs> you know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> you will come out when we ring the bell. <laughs> Oh right, get, put your credit card info on on screen. You know, right there. Just yeah, it's just right there. Don't forget to put in your yeah, no, guys. Saw don't it. worry about that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> four dollars is good. Huh? Four them. cents. Four yeah, cents. Four cents is good. So what's everyone been up to? What's everyone? Uh... Yeah, you can start with that. What's the how you know what? Can uh, I say my start rant? This podcast. Yeah, Joey can, had a rant. Joey has a rant. Practice, I had a bro. rant. Okay. All right. So congratulations. It's been uh, a month. It's been it's the 60th anniversary of Spider Man. Okay, that's a big deal, and San Francisco <laughs> like Comic Con. Yeah, it is a big deal. I'm a fucking New York nerd. It's a fucking big deal. That's how you said it. I'm sorry, no good. Fucking do you, homeboy? It's so. He's I don't like, know. We're a Queens. He's already kid. getting into rant mode. He's like fuck <laughs> Spider Man. No, nah, yeah, we're Queens kids. Yeah, we're Queens kids. Spider Man's a big deal. Yeah, yeah for sure. He's an and icon San Francisco Comic Con had a whole museum. They had a bunch of like replicas and comic books and like costumes from the movies. They made a big deal. So I was hyped for this year's Comic Con because I was like, bro, it's in New York City. Spider Man's from New York. They got to do something. They did nothing. Mm. There was not a single reference that it was his 60th anniversary. Have you been keeping up with the comics? He moved to San Francisco. He moved to San Francisco. Yeah. That's what happened. It's your friendly neighborhood hilly Spider-Man, He bro. lives in the full house house. <laughs> he, com- he commutes on the fucking trolleys, dude. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and then uh, I low-key was hyped because they had, um, you know, the New York Public Library now has like limited edition Spider-Man uh, mm-hmm. library cards. That's cool. And Natalie, Natalie, our friend Natalie posted it. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I low-key like, signed up to get notified about that, too. But the what I thought you could order them online. You need to go to the uh, public library, and I was like, "All right, there's a library nearby my house." And it's like, "No, no, no! Only the libraries in Manhattan and Staten Island." Wow. And I was like, "Spider Man, he can't even get to <laughs> Staten Island. He can't even swing over to Staten Island. He has to take a ferry. He can no, even he, swing on the Verizon. He, he just hit, that's why the Verizon has all the rings on all it. Rings. So he can go, it's, yeah. it's for Spider Man. And let's just yeah. It's your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. All right, this motherfucker's only helping people on like a three borough radius. Yeah. I doubt he even touches Brooklyn. If I'm being honest, <laughs> Word. like I, I felt like he gets the call. It's like, where is it? Brownsville. No. I'm good. I got no. a guy who wears a skull on his shirt. He's way better for that. He's, he's solid. I'll send him your way. Is he in New York? Yeah. All right, here. They're all in New York, man. Who who's a hero that's not located in New York? Superman. A lot of them. There's just also he's got right. him. He is right. <laughs> got him. Batman. Superman from Milwaukee. <laughs> well, you, you know that like Gotham City actually exists in a, in a, a state in the United States. It's actually technically in Jersey. Oh, oh I didn't wow. know that. Yeah. It depends. Like shit. it's one of those things. So like, you, you can know how live Bat- in Gotham in like, Jersey. Yeah. Like do you, you know how Batman <laughs> just has like those weird story things that it's like this is canon for like five years and then we might change it. That was like one of those things. So it's like interesting. Take it with a grain of salt. But there's a lot of New York superheroes. You know, you got Spider Man, you got Punisher, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Luke Cage all the Defenders. 
fucking Moon Knight. He's supposed to be. I mean, that's mm-hmm. the funny thing. MCU or <laughs> the MCU, like Kevin Feige and them, technically started putting heroes that aren't that are supposed to be in New York, and they started putting them in other places just because New York is like in every fucking Marvel movie now. So that's why they put Moon Knight in London and they gave him like a whole different setting. But he's technically supposed, but he's to, be supposed to be in New York. I see. Kamala Khan's from Jersey. She's from Jersey. That's that. That was like oh. No, when I heard that. I was like, oh shit. That's a <laughs> Jersey. So that's cool. And I like how they represented Jersey in that show. Which it was cool. cool. No. I actually liked Kamala Khan a lot. Look at that. We went from a rant to really happy. <laughs> also, just to go back on what you were saying, um, not to play devil's advocate here. But I'd highly doubt they'd have anything cool at the library near our house. It's like a really boring ass fucking library as opposed to like a city library. Yeah, with I, like, yeah, I've, I've noticed this about like in general when it comes to the boroughs is that Queens is just like where everyone lives. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's That's like we have, it we have really good food and we have cool people. And if, I, and if I may no, no say. Attractions. No attractions. <laughs> Nothing no crazy to, to do at. here. I love it. I don't know what it is. Well, That's why it's good, I feel. That's yeah. why it's, it's good. It's like what's the other do? Almost Nothing. Calm. Besides like, a straight calming. gunshot and that one shooting that happened here that made Made national news yeah. for some reason. Oh, stabbing oh, on the A train today was crazy. Stabbing yeah. on the A train today. Today near my crazy. house. Oh, okay, yeah. no. something cr- like went down the other day too. And I was trying I to think. Like out a seventeen-year-old got shot at the the other at the park. Four people got shot. There's bad people getting shot. Queens but that one that was crazy because like uh, I active. looked it up and then uh, Queens getting active just to just to bring people up to speed. In the neighborhood we're from, uh, like a week ago, there was a shooting that happened. And actually, to, to preface it, right. Jerry was walking here. Yeah, and there was like some kids that stopped me. They're like, they're they're com- they're coming uh, on their bikes, coming from there. I was like two or three blocks away walking here, and they were like, "Yo, you can't walk that way. There's like a shooting that just happened. They just like, I was at the park like uh, a couple blocks down. I was like, oh shit, like mm-hmm. fucking uh, like, shout outs to those in. people like yeah. letting you know they could. Right just when I was getting right here, they were just talking about it with I think with Bobby and his parents. <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of <laughs> funny. So like, Jerry was walking to my house when it happened, and then like as Jerry was getting to my house from the the back street, not taking the main street, uh-huh. my parents got there, and I went out to tell them. And then I wanted to be like you know a little bit cheese moso. Wanted to be wanted <laughs> to be nosy and see what was going on. So I walked to the corner in like a fucking flannel with no shirt, sweatpants, and fucking chanclas. And I'm like looking down six blocks, seeing all the police cars, and I'm like, oh shit. And then I get my phone starts buzzing, and I look down, and it's Jerry. And I look down the block, and Jerry's talking to my parents in front of my house. <laughs> so Jerry comes up to the corner to meet with me, and he's like, what's up? And I'm like, ah, man, I just wanted to, I just wanted to get a look for, for myself. And Jerry's like, were you able to figure anything out? Able to do any of this? <laughs> <laughs> It's that's like, fucking it's great. Like that's fucking great. great response. <laughs> I was actually asking. Him, like, yeah. It was like mad cop cars. That's like, why it was funny. They were like, like all because it wasn't like they were just stopped there. They were like down by like near Bobby's house too on like Jerry's that. Jerry's a sweet person. like, <laughs> But the way that sound, sounded, it, it sounded was, mad right? sarcastic. <laughs> like, fuck, yeah. like fuck you, Jerry. Fucking Sherlock over here. And the crazy thing wow, is. Wow, you did a, some yeah. smoothie? Yeah, you, yeah, big, I you got your comically big magnified glass? Like Sherlock Holmes hat. Nah, fucking, uh, what was crazy is I looked it up. I forgot. I wasn't even looking up the shooting per se. I was looking up because something happened the other day and I was like, Queens shooting or something like that. And then there was an article that was like two crazy shootings and like one happened in Queens and the other one happened in like Harlem or whatever. And it made like New York news or whatever. And then it, it, it was the first time that I got all the details basically. So what happened is like, it was probably a gang related shooting. They started opening fire in front of a, a, a grocery store here. But what I found fucking nuts is that the four people that got hit were people in the park. Like, not even... Yeah, they just ran exactly. right near them. That's usually how it Three how were it shot happens. in the leg, one was shot in the back. They're all fine. but Well, not fine, but, you know, they're they're, they're good. They're, they're in not stable dead. condition. But fucking... Like, it, it, they all got shot in a park. Like, mm-hmm. where kids are always right. at. Like, it's fucking It was, fucking like, school, insane. like, after school hours. Like, where? It was, like, 4, 35 o'clock. Yeah. It was really... Well, like, I never... That's the one thing about crime that a lot of people don't understand is that, like, a lot of times you think that it's, like, oh, don't go out at night. But most crime happens at, like, 2 to 4 yeah, p.m. Yeah, it mm-hmm. happens on a whim. Yeah. It's just, like, hey, <laughs> the, the crimes here, you don't get hear em. about happen at night. Right. Yeah, it's, like, drug deals, shady things, yeah. trafficking. Right. That happens at night. Everything else, <laughs> all the violent stuff in the middle of the day. I remember yeah. right. today we were... Uh, I'll get into this right after. <laughs> Speaking so, of trafficking. No, no. <laughs> we were, we, I went to go do something earlier today that I'll get into in a second. But on the way back, me and my dad were driving from uh, like Springfield, Jamaica, like back there near yeah. the airport, right? And we were coming back and we passed by, we were on Baisley Boulevard and you passed by like Baisley Pond. Oh, was, that's like, uh, that's where the door, the Jamaican restaurant I went to. So was. yeah, so it's like a really, really beautiful park. I was like, oh shit, like out of nowhere. Like we literally went from all this industrial land fucking... 
yeah, near the warehouses. Airport. Yeah, exactly. And then there's just like this big open park. You would not expect it. It has a giant lake pond, and it's called like Baisley Pond. And as I'm opening my mouth to go, wow, that's really nice. My dad is like, lots of bodies in that pond, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Used to float right up. And I'm like, I'm like that not. area is really hood. And yeah. then like he heard what I said. Like I finished the point before he finished. Like I said, oh, it's a nice park. And then there was like awkward silence for two seconds. And he's like. It is a really beautiful park. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice. so just don't come at night. Just yeah, don't come yeah, at yeah, night. Yeah, Very yeah. beautiful park. I was like, I get <laughs> it. <laughs> like my dad wanted to keep the magic for me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, oh, but it's, it's, it's really good, though. It's really, really but nice what park. I did go to do earlier is I went to go get some dry ice. Mm-hmm. Uh, we filmed a little. We filmed a production for Joystick that we put a little effort into in terms of the lighting Made and a little the cinematography. Smoky. And I wanted some low hanging fog, you know, to some dense, which I think the effect came out cool. I learned some stuff about position and whatnot. But. Not important. I needed the dry ice, so I did a little bit of research, and I found out that there is a place in Springfield, uh, New York, who I want to give a little shout-out to. Shout-out to Natuzzi Ice Woo! Mm-hmm. for all of your dry ice and regular ice needs. You can just show up. It's pretty cool. Uh, another thing that I thought was weird is over the past week of saying how much I needed to purchase dry ice whenever I would look at Instagram stories and I would switch from story to story, I would get a advertisement. From Natuzzi Ice. I thought that was f- f- fucking strange as all hell. Mm-hmm. But you know, because they're always listening. Bob. They definitely are. It's not if even a joke. We're going to be talking about like baby diapers. We're going to get ads for yep. baby diapers. He's not wrong. Weird analogy, but you within know. the hour, yeah. But I went to go buy a dry ice, and it was this, it's a cool operation because you drive into the lot, and it's just an open like warehouse. But in the middle of the lot, there's like one small building, and it has a window. So you go up to the window. And it's funny because like there's like 20 workers throwing bags of ice. So it feels like you're literally like in the middle of work. Yeah. But you go up to the window and the guy's really cool. He's like, I asked him, I was like, hey, I made a call a couple days ago about purchasing ice. He's, and he told me the whole rundown. He's like, yeah, you can buy five pounds for 12, 20, uh, 10 pounds for 20. I'm about like, to buy some dry ice. I don't even need any. Yeah, right, so I, was like, some dry ice. I was like, yeah, I'll take the five pounds. And he's like, cool. He's, I give him the money. He gives me a receipt. And he's like, just go to the side of the building and there'll be a, there'll be a guy and just give him the receipt and give it to you. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> I go to the side of the building, and there's an older uh, West Indian man, right? He's very strong accent. He, I give him the receipt, and he looks at me, and he's like, okay. And then he starts putting it in. Uh, they give it to you in a cardboard box, which I think is fucking hilarious. It's literally right there in the corner of the room. It's not even a bag or anything. Uh, and he starts filling the, the box with the ice, and he, he starts – it's not even small talk. He just straight up asks me. He's like, what do you use for? And I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, I, I make movies, so I'm gonna be using it for like a, an, a, an effect. And he's like, for drinks. And I'm like, no, for like an effect. And he's like, but what are you using it for? And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna like, you ever seen on a stage with this? He's like, oh, so smoke. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm using it for. He's like, not enough. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, you don't have enough here. And I ask him, I'm like well why and he's like because i told you you don't have enough (laughs) (laughs) nice logic so i'm like so i'm like all right so then he's like i told him i was like maybe he thinks i'm like actually going to use it on a fucking stage so i told him i was like no it's just for a room like we're just filling up a room and he's like well when are you gonna use it and i'm like he's like tonight i'm like i'm gonna use this in like two hours and he's like my work (laughs) <laughs> I'm like I did my fucking. I research. love how I love how in he order did, he in, definitely dealt with a lot of people. He ended like, up being cool because he even threw yeah. in like an extra pound. And he's like just in case and like too because the thing is is a dry ice goes through a process where after a certain amount of hours, depending on how you store it, it immediately evaporates. Yeah. It doesn't turn into a liquid. It just got bye bye. So you kind of have a time limit for when you use it. Mm-hmm. But I looked it up and I was like, if you keep it in a cool place, it'll stay around for 18 hours. And they even said, like, even crushed up, it'll be six hours. So I knew as long as we shot the fucking video in six hours, we'd be fine. Mm -hmm. But I didn't even get to the fucking craziest part about this guy. He starts to give it to me, like, with his bare hands. This man is, like, grabbing chunks of dry ice by the handful. And I'm like, it's smoking. Like, it's coming out of my hand. Even did, like, a whole presentation. There was, like, a puddle in a crack on the floor. And he's like, this is what you do. You put it in water. And he just throws it into the water. And then the smoke rises up. And I'm like, cool. And then, like, his hands were all craggly. Like, you can tell this man was, like, born in an ice cave or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been to Guyana lately. I'm pretty sure it's full of ice caves. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but fucking, I thought that was the most insane thing I've ever seen. I told my dad about it in the car, and he was like, are you bullshitting me? I'm like, no. You, you should have brought him out. Be like, hey, he yo, has, like, a here. whole yeah, conversation. Right? He juggles it, and, like, look, this is what you do. 
I was, I, it's honestly one of the most badass things I've ever seen because everything everybody tells you. I even touched it a little bit, and my hands were like tingling for like twenty <laughs> minutes. And I was like, "Some got sucks. in your shoe when you were putting." Yeah, it yeah. In some got in my shoe. I was walking around with it, like, "Ow, this sucks!" But like, fucking, this guy's grabbing a giant chunk in his bare hand. See He's this. like, "You want this? You want this?" I'm like, "Yes, please. Stop, stop intimidating stop me." Some Kratos okay. shit. Just, this boy. Just sell this. me the dry ice, please. This is the guy that puts his hand on a burning stove, just like. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, I found out there's a true value around here. What's that? I don't know if you guys grocery ever... store. No, no true value like the everything you've ever needed in your entire. Oh, life. I know you. I know what this is place. That? What everything you've ever needed in your life? That's what they sell at True Value. It's insane. It's like you ever seen those like commercials where they're like, you could buy a Chia Pet at CVS, Ace Hardware, and True Value. I just never knew True Value existed. I thought that was a fake store. Mm. I'd seen CVS. I'd seen mm. Ace Hardware. Seen what the fuck true is value. True, what value? Is true Value? It's on Liberty Avenue. It's very close. Oh, shit. That is Found close. Found it. Has everything you could ever need. It's fucking insane. Walked in. I was like, do you have styrofoam containers? They're like, oh, seven. You have duct tape? Oh, four. I was like, this is incredible. <laughs> but it's do so, they have it's fuzzy like a, toilet it's, cushions? The main idea of it is like uh, kind of like staples. Uh, hardware store. Like a m- hardware store, but like command strips. You know, like they little things. Skateboards? Even more so. They had a whole yeah. aisle with glass cabinets and it had like Ryobi. Oh, shit. Like fucking uh, power tools behind it. And Did they like sell that. anime? Probably. I didn't get that far in the store. It was one of those stores. It gets really weird. Do they it was sell? one of those stores where the building is two smaller buildings connected. So the woman was even like, it's on the last row of this room. And I was like, okay. So I didn't even get to the rooms? second room. Yeah. Who knows what the fuck is in that second room? It could have soft pillow cushions. That's, that's, and that's, that's the false value. The, <laughs> false the, the pillow cushions. Thank you, Dylan. This is why we keep you around. No problem. For the anal, anal, analogical humor. Whatever. I tried to say something. A- a- anal, anal, anal humor. <laughs> anal humor. <laughs> Uh-huh. Now for the, uh, the the Team Joystick sponsored pizza check of the week. It is on the way. We estimate delivery at 11.08. Ooh. That's just a, it's a, it's one of the later podcasts we've done in a while. Mm-hmm. Right. But it's also because of how much fucking content we've been making lately. Holy yeah. shit. Hell yeah. How do I close this? There we go. You, you don't. pushed the button. I was looking for the button. It'll never close. I had something to say, and I lost it. Mm. You lost it? <laughs> Oh, no. We're not God. starting this. Oh, no. We're not starting oh, this. No. Fuck, I did have something. <laughs> Does anybody have anything? Oh, I know what I wanted. It was what we fucking mentioned last week that we were waiting for this guy to be back here for. Oh, yes. Overwatch 2 is Among yeah. Us. Yeah. Yes. Among Us. It's a whole new season oh, of the gosh. game that we spent way too much time of our lives playing. I'm, pl- I'm spending too much time now. Not as much as I thought, right, but right. I'm spending too much time. That was a good three now. years of my college Don't tell me career. how to play my character. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. I had a question that I wanted to bring up. Okay. Wanted to put a little bit of thought into it, a little bit of conversation into it. Uh, obviously, we're in a new era of Overwatch. We've got new characters. We've got new maps, right? We've got a new game mode. Correct. Even some of the older characters. Characters have completely new reworks that make them feel brand new. Shout out to Sombra. Shout out to Bastion, right? Right. My question is, now that Overwatch 1 is behind us, it's in the past. Correct. We've put our time into that. 2CP okay. is gone. Who was the best character in Overwatch? Doomfist. Mercy. He might have just gotten it. Non-debatable. He might have actually just nailed it. You would see a Doomfist in your game and you'd be like, you would back out. He might have actually just hit the nail on the fucking head. I was really expecting us to have like five minutes of super cool (laughs) conversation. And Jerry just fuck that character, nailed that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that guy. And I feel, and I feel like there's even a trend in Overwatch where it's like you have a character that's so good. It's just that when there's an update or now there's a second game, they're like, yeah, this can't make him shit. This uh, character make him shit. It's like it feels like because what they did in Overwatch too is they made Doomfist a tank, and now yes. it feels like all of the tanks, even the original ones, are like fucking insane. They're yeah. all broken. And Doomfist is the one that's like, eh, yeah. Sucks. <laughs> and it's like he doesn't move that crazy anymore, but now he does a block. What does yeah. the block? Lock do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to nothing. have some sort of tank ability. You yeah. Know? Oh, I had another. I had a question. Um, you know, like when you look at your Overwatch stats, like when you hold the the touchpad down, what does MIT mean? It's like MIT mitigated, lock. like damage that, yeah, blocked that's what I or that's, absorbed. Because all the tanks always have it. That's yes. Like, so it's it's anything mid- from shield, shield or yeah, that's what I diva, the thing. Yeah. T- even Torb, when you're like buffed up, got you get hit during it, that. Got it, got it. Yeah. It's a new stat I was trying to figure All out. All the stuff. I don't know what any of that mean. I'm already <laughs> Tracer. So, you know, <laughs> besides DPS, who was the best tank in Overwatch 1? Reinhardt? Overwatch uh, 1. Zarya, I think. Zarya's up there. 
Uh, I think it's Reinhardt. Ryan or Zarya. Zarya. I think it's Reinhardt Zarya. too. Like Zarya that might shield. be Zarya might be better than Reinhardt, but I'd argue Reinhardt is more important than Zarya. Like Reinhardt is like the tank. Like when you yeah, think yeah. Reinhardt is head. like I am the protector of these four people. Maybe you can make a case for a really strong Sigma. You know, we used to see a lot of him towards Sigma, the end. Yeah. Sigma's a lot of him, yeah. But I feel like Reinhardt just kind of has that overall. Like anybody can play him. The masters can make him really great. You know, just, if you see like a pro player with a Reinhardt on your team, and you're just like. I'm protected. Yeah, a good like, Ryan is I also, it's just fun. And best healer Ryan. is Mercy, right? Maybe yeah. not best healer, but most essential healer. Uh, when we, I think it's there was that whole era where you could just res the entire team. That, I feel like that's, that's what broken. made it her like the best, in my opinion. But I feel like even in terms of just a healer, like Mercy's the healer. Like, you know yeah, I mean? like you well, push a, a support, button and right? it's healing the, the everything. Support. As a support, I would say maybe like... Yeah, honestly, maybe like... Maybe Ana? Yeah, I was going to say Ana. Ana and, uh, and Sombra. Not Sombra. Fucking um what's her name? Mora. Mora. Ana and Mora are two very strong support characters. I think like if we're I've been playing I could even Ana give Mora Mora the top I've been having difficulty. If we're if we're like, like actual support, yeah, I would say Mora or yeah. Bap, in yeah. my opinion. Bap is up there too, but I think they I think do damage and they heal. Which I think is Mora is the most broken. And then you have immortality field. For Mora's Bap. broken. I've been playing matches against a Mora and Mora's just downing everyone. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. Well those are stupid Moras, but yeah, and you can't get you know she has a escape option if you're ever getting like fucking. I mean, I've yeah, seen games where you don't have got that. You not got to get hope people are nearby. Not to divert this into a super nerdy just Overwatch mm-hmm. talk until the end of the podcast, but Maybe. I was also gonna say that uh, I, I low key think Mora is gonna lose a bit of value now that there's only one tank to heal. You know what I mean? That was really her big thing. Is she well, was now the tank healer. your thing does, or at least it seems like your thing, and everything does more damage. Maybe it's because everything's squishy. But I've had games where people have literally twelve thousand damage and twelve thousand healing. Mm-hmm. As yeah. a character, and that's just like what well, that's broken. The tanks don't die. Yeah, they don't fucking die. They do not. <laughs> they do. That used to be my thing. It's like I'll, I'll get my ult off this tank. I'll kill them. And now they give less ult charge too. It's like I'm not even gonna fucking. I'll just shoot all the other people. You, you headshot a tank, and it's like you gain one percent ult. You're like, why did Yo, I even do that? I think that's our pizza. <laughs> Jiram Rabinesh. <laughs> it is too. Hello. Okay, I got you. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna go get the pizza. Go you guys it. are gonna hold up this uh, podcast, yeah. and if you switch to another topic, you just tell me what the fuck. I got the topic right now. You ready? <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. So, guys, instead of fucking Overwatch, there's this game I'm playing okay. called oh. Hot Wheels Unleashed. Hot Wheels. <laughs> Hot Wheels Unleashed. <laughs> now, okay. when I saw this game is the free game, I was like, part of me was like, "Fuck this," but the other part of me is someone who grew up playing Hot Wheels games. Yeah, let me give it a shot. Hot Wheels was like the first game I played. Like, I even asked my dad. I was like, on the N64. What games did I play the most? He was like, oh, NASCAR, Lego Racers, and Hot Wheels. And I was like, damn, I, was a r- I like fucking cars. I like cars. <coughs> Why don't you like cars oh, now? Do you like cars like that, like Jose? I felt like I fell out of love with it. Oh, no. Like, I liked them because they looked cool and how they sounded. But then once it got into, like, actually learning how they work, and yeah, like, this like, car yeah. is 400 horsepower. I was like, <laughs> you're like, I don't know what that means. It looked cool, though. <laughs> But it's uh rare. yeah, it's like uh it's like that uh tabletop racing game that came out a few years ago. Right. Maybe a mix of throwing some track mania in there. It uh, looks fun. I, I just like the fact that for if you don't know the Hot Wheels game, the Hot Wheels game is you're playing as a literal Hot Wheel toy yeah. in a giant like map that is meant to replicate a room. Like yeah, a there's one room. that's like a basement, there's one that's like a college campus that you're going through. And you're and like stuff. miniature sized, but playing the game it feels like mad extra. You're jumping, hitting ramps and everything. Meanwhile you're like fucking mad small. Like jumping over like soccer balls and like I would just dirty I would socks. love that if when and whenever you win it would just zoom out and you just see the little fucking That would be <laughs> great. I feel like that'd they, be cool. They don't do that? No, they don't. That would have been an I amazing feel like, yeah. like But it's also it cool out, what? and it's just <laughs> It's also just cool to consider it like looking at it. <laughs> it gotta, is pretty looking. You got a problem. You got to just stand there, Bobby. Oh, right. no, you're stuck. Grab Bob. the plates and the the thing and he can tilt. Hold oh. on. Yeah, grab the top talking, this is like the best podcast I was yeah, ever to be is, honest. I asked for help. No, grab the stuff on top so we can tilt it. Oh, How yes, profesh. Yes, no, listen to Jerry Jerry Smart. Grab what? the stuff on top. <laughs> and leave. <laughs> we figured it out. Yeah. Woo! Nice. Hot Wheels Unleashed. Shapes. Oh. So yeah, I need to get 25... Uh, Multiplayer wins, I think, or something and like you that. You want us to join and help you. This or just, episode of the Joystick or Show is also sponsored way. by. It's Hot not. Jones, the greatest pizza ever made. <laughs> Have it your way. Have it your way. Eat fresh. Eat fresh. At the I'm Toyota loving it. Salesathon. 
Have it your way at Mr. Joystick. So how's Hot Wheels Unleashed? You liking it? It's fun. It's, I'm already ha- like uh, 60% done with the Platinum. Toy Cargo Vroom. Yeah. The Platinum used to be 120 hours. It is now like 20 to 30. So. But is it cool and better than Mario Kart? No. Oh. Ah. Do you think they're going to make another Mario Kart game? Because I feel like with all these DLCs, they can just keep going. Did they say it? They announced it, right? I think they did. They did announce it that they're right. working on it. They're taking the T out, so it's just Mario. Yeah, Kart. Yeah, because eight is like <laughs> eight was from the the Wii U, right? Yeah, and it so. went over to the Switch, and then they even confirmed even more diesel. Yeah, they got the deluxe. Bobby's the crying. <laughs> it's just Cario Car. <laughs> Cario Car. Cario Car. Oh shit! What is that like cars? But it's like the driving version. Yo, the cars the game. Car is racer I've for heard cars. that from a lot of people. Oh, I've heard from a lot of people who say that the PS2 cars game is lit. Yeah, and I've never played. What it. Never yes. played it. What if mm-hmm. cars had a Cart racer where they were the cars in a cart. There is. Is there not? Oh, wait, not. wait a minute. There <laughs> cars, character. Oh, right so there are cars in a cart. Yeah, yeah it's the a car racer, not mm. a car racer. I don't like that. <laughs> I, like I don't Jerry's like that brain idea. Works. <laughs> it's a fictional car on a cart. Yeah, <laughs> not a real car. A fake car like, in a car. Like there it's, go. I mean, it's Cario car, not car car. <laughs> car. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Is Lucario in the game? Lucario. Yeah. yeah. Lucari, oh god, no, no more of that, no more of that. This is, is that a, is that a warm box? Honestly, it feels good. I'm just doing this right now. It does feel nice and warm. It's hot. Let's Ooh. take a guess. Hot, hot. Let's take a guess. What's on top? What's on bottom? Bacon on top. Bacon uh, on top. The top of the box and the bottom of the box. Let's make a Ooh. bet. Let's put a bet on this. I'm betting that the top one is pepperoni. I'm betting that the top one is pepperoni. I'm betting that the top one is pepperoni. Top one is bacon. So Dylan is the only one that can really Let's lose go. here. Let's go, my God! Hey. Dylan has to leave the pod. <laughs> I don't get to eat. Bye, Dylan. I starve to, to death. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I this is another topic that I'm uh, look. This is gonna be like a whole like literally one and a half Dylan. minute, two minute chapter in the podcast because I'm not delving on it for long. Like we did last week where we were like, yo, we're gonna talk about Overwatch 2. And then the next mm-hmm. week came and we talked about Overwatch 2. Right. Yes. It's one of those. Okay? okay. I started watching She Hulk. Oh. Uh, yeah. As I am the resident Marvel guy. We know this, right? Sadly. Have fuck you. <laughs> I have not first one. Shut up when I'm talking, Joey. Shut that is up. the rule here. All right? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so, like I was saying, I am the resident Marvel guy here. And <laughs> I uh, I mentioned it a couple weeks back, or rather even a, a, a larger amount of time back. Can we do this so it doesn't cover anybody on the fucking show? How about that? That was funny. Put your face in, on the box. I'm good. I'm good. Fucking, no, I was going to say that uh, I She-Hulk came out like, what, eight weeks ago or something like that? And I said eight weeks ago that I didn't want to watch the show until like episode three, four, five because I like to wait till more episodes are out because everybody does that whole like the show's garbage, it's awful, it's the worst show yeah, ever made, yeah, and yeah. I'm like give it a, give it the run, right? Mm-hmm. So the reason I'm not talking about it today is because I haven't finished it. I'm really only up to episode four. Like I watched the first three in full. But what I did want to add, my two cents, is that I thought it was interesting that a lot of the stuff people complained about in the first three episodes, I didn't really have all that much a problem with. In fact, I think She-Hulk is a really, really funny series, and I like the fact that it's written to be a legal show. Like it really is written to be like a like a lawyer show. It's just like the a, West Wing. Kind it's of it's sort a lawyer of. for superhumans. That's what the show is mainly about. So I, think has, I like it. Actually. It has a really good comedic charm. I really like the actress. I forgot her name. Tatiana Masla, something like that. Uh, she had a, a shorter role in Parks and Rec, but I think she's really funny. I think the show is really good. I will agree that there's some some stinky cheese in the first three episodes. I was talking to Jerry before there's like some training montage stuff where I right. thought literally if they just got rid of the pop song playing behind it, it would be that much more watchable, but you know, I get it. You do what you got to do. And last, the only last thing I'm going to say is there was literally an uproar. Like people almost got murdered when they saw Megan, the stallion twerking on the show with she Hulk. And then when I watched it, I found out that that scene is part of like a 30 second post credit scene. So it's not even like part of the in show. the plot of the show. They just wrote it off as a throwaway joke. And chances are, if that didn't blow up on memes, it's a good percentage of people who probably would have just shut it off before the credits started. They rolling. didn't they even see it, it anyway. Yeah. Or just skip so the next my two episode. cents right now. You know, next week when I finish <laughs> the episode, six episodes, I might come back and be like, She-Hulk was the worst thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. But so far, so good. I'd give it like a solid 7 out of 10. You know what's funny? Um, I only saw the first episode, and I was like a little iffy about it. And then I, you told me about your rule about letting it, like, I'll let the third or fourth episode come out, and then I'll start watching it. So I started doing that too. 
So now, what, what episode are we on? Like six? It's done. Last the, the yesterday Thursday was the season finale, which is so why it's I'm done. Finally, like my father and I want to continue watching it. My sister and mother do not, and that's interesting because for this, like they're low key, like you know, hitting hint, uh, hinting that oh, this is a woman show, a woman empowerment show. Yeah. And both women in my family are like, we don't want to fucking watch that. And my dad and I are like, no, we want to like know like. We like we want to get caught up with the Marvel lore and yeah, see what sure. all the fuss is about because there's like a, b- a bunch of fuss about this show. And to touch right. on that for literally a second because I will probably have a lot more to say next week. Uh, I will agree some of like the feministic or fem- whatever the, the the word is stuff. Femininity in the show is it feels a little like in your face, but I'm not necessarily mad about it because if I'm being honest, it kind of feels refreshing to see some of that on screen. Like we don't. Like you hear it a lot, you hear about it a lot on like social media and memes and shit like that. But it is kind of cool to see like you know a Marvel superhero that goes through kind of like shit that actual women go through, like being afraid to walk around alone or getting catcalled and shit like that. And I actually think it is cool that they raise an interesting point about women having to suppress their anger in like other situations. I like that too. I thought that was a really I thought that was a very interesting. It's a very creative way for them to play around. Two or one slice. It's one, but this the crust ripped off with the Hulk's Mm. powers and abilities. The Hulk ripped that slice. The Hulk did rip that slice. I think this is two, Dylan. Hulk it is. Rip. That's what I said. He just oh, told you that. No, you said it was one. No, I said it was two, and then this one got messed up. Oh, I, I heard it's one. But you guys should one. fight about it, honestly. You yes. should, right? You guys should start slapping each other Joey in the faces with those pizzas. And just break out into acne. Right? Acne. That'd be pretty cool. Acne, like uh, the Warner Brothers studios? Yeah, where they the buy the studio. stuff. studio. That's where they get the anvil. Can I uh, I'll bring up one last thing? I'm looking at this is what I do when I, I need to find the last topics of the show as I go through my oh, YouTube history. Yeah. I'm, you know, a moment of unprofessionality, you know. I've been I've been working on joystick stuff for ten hours today. I didn't have a chance to write my little list and have it with me. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Bobby being unprofessional on the podcast where we eat pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's, who hasn't eaten on the, the fucking slice yet? Eat my asshole. Don't it. Uh, no, I was gonna say that. Uh, I was I was just gonna mention it's it's a very old topic. The only reason I'm bringing it up is because I found some new information that makes it kind of funny. Uh, you guys remember Bodega Bro? Yeah, remember the guy? Fuck that guy. He, Bodega Bro was a guy who got he went viral on TikTok a few months back. He moved to New York from some other place. I don't remember where, but he made a TikTok chronicling his like first experiences living in New York City. And All right. He was the guy who like Google mapped a uh, store or whatever and was like. Uh, and he found the bodegas, mm-hmm. like on his corner, like, whatever. And he's like, "This, this isn't, isn't a grocery supermarket. store. What if I need cheese, milk, eggs? You know, the shit that they sell at every bodega." Yeah. But you know, and then it, it gets even worse because he gets in the store and he's like, "Yo, let me get a, a bacon, egg, and cheese the Aki way." And then he flips <laughs> the camera and he's literally like, "You know, like from the from the TikTok." So my my whole thing was always like, "He's just unfunny." Like you know, I, I don't mm-hmm. really care. I feel like if a lot of New Yorkers saw it, they'd just be like, "He's just being stupid," you know. But uh, then I found out that after that video got released, he made a second video where he kind of like he went. He was like, I just wanted to show you guys. And then you guys know the story. He got fired from his job. And that was like a whole thing. There were people talking about did he deserve to get fired or all this stuff. Yes. And then the second tic- the second TikTok <laughs> came out where it was like uh, it was like I just wanted to show you what the Bodega Bro is actually about. And it's like him going to bodegas. Like he's learned the New York way. He buys like four bacon egg and cheeses on rolls, four chopped cheeses on rolls, bunch of chips, bunch of fruits, and then he goes to homeless people in New York City and gives them like a meal each. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And even the commentator that I was like watching talk about it, he was like, he did a good thing. Like, it, yeah, sure, he recorded it, but like he has to show people, blah blah blah, like whatever. But then I found out that the same bodega bro got arrested for like a felonious assault or something like that. <laughs> so it was mad funny because this guy is like saying all this information. And like as I'm watching, I'm like, oh, he's like, maybe he's not a bad guy. And then the last image is just him in the orange jumpsuit. And I'm like, oh, maybe he, <laughs> what he's he a bad guy. For? It said felonious assault. I think it was like a. Someone must have been like, "Hey, yo, it's Bro Dago, bro," and he got mad tight. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> he got mad tight. I don't want to mislabel, but I think there was something shocking about like a uh, like a rate like a hate crime type of thing or some sort of, sort of racial you know, thing. Uh, he did make a TikTok that no, not a lot of people know about because I think he tried to delete it, and a lot of people were like quickly saved it. He made a comment. He says, "So the gym that I go to is in a predominantly black neighborhood, and I'm like the only white guy in there." So I decided to wear this shirt in hopes that to be like cool with all the black people. And his shirt literally just is like a NAACP shirt, a black shirt that has like the logo for the <laughs> NAACP. And he says, so uh, wish me luck, guys. And that was he posted that, too. 
Here's my thing with that. It's just this guy thinks he's funny, and that's what pains me. It's like a lot of people on the internet like that. That's yeah. what pains me. So be funny. If you're funny, you know what for else? For the it, most part, you know what bothers me? He's unfunny, trying to bring his unfunniness from another state to here, and then like by mocking here, which is what only we can do. Like, and look, I'm not even gonna be that funny. guy. New York's got to be like top five funniest state in the United States. There's so much shit that happens here in the top three. Business. Top three. Top three. Top three. Probably. We're cool. Austin's up there mm-hmm. for sure. But anyway, the state of Austin. This was a fun one, right? Oh yeah, you're right. My bad. Yeah, it'd be like that. <laughs> Texas. Texas. I mean, Texas, Texas is pretty fucking funny if you get past all the. Texas is funny. All the, the cousin loving. Oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it is now time for Jamie M. Yeah, Jamie Jamie is fun, man. definitely. God, I have so many. Me too. I feel like it's only been like a few days since I gave you my last jam yam. Mm-hmm. It's because we recorded the last podcast on a Sunday. Yeah. So what, five days. Like five days. Yeah. yeah. That's why. I was also going to mention last week, I thought it was kind of cool filming on a Sunday because it gave us the opportunity to talk about all the shit we did on the weekend. Right. Which we usually. Instead of waiting for five days right. to fucking. Oh, yeah. That thing that happened. So we may have to look into that in the future. <laughs> Does anybody want to start? Before my. Is that it? No, no, no. That's an old Flatbush zombie song. Uh, I'll start. I haven't really been listening to music, as you know, you hear me say that before. But uh, in honor of Blink One Eighty Two having a reunion tour, hey, I heard about that. Uh, that's pretty dope. I'm gonna choose fucking the first song I learned on guitar, Adam song, on Blink One Eighty Two. But that's not your song. It's not, but it's the first song I learned. Adam. Adam. The song is actually beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> actually, a good song. Word. I'll go just to get it out of the way, and then I can actually eat pizza like the rest of you. Do it. Uh, just a quick shout out to the song "Robbery '95." It's like the year '95. This is a little apostrophe before the nine, you know, by the artist Necro. It's just a very old school, like uh, boom bap, like very old lo-fi kind of. He was playing it while he was setting rap. up, and we were all dancing, and it was a fucking dope song. It was not that song, but oh, that song might have also been hype. That song was hype. <laughs> shout out to that song. Yeah. It's uh-huh. the same creator. Do I have to go? Okay. My do you just not want to give no. me a yam for the no, first I do. time I do. in 110 episodes? Yes. My, uh, my yam of the week is uh, Burn by Sherry Amore. Okay. Very good band. Ooh, very good song. I think I have a Sherry Yeah, I have. Burn. I sent it to you. Not that one, but it's yeah. another song. It's uh, Very good. Pop punky, but they get a little heavy now and then. Uh, You know, very catchy. Still in my head. We'll be Bye. in your guys' head, too. In my head. My in my head. I haven't been listening to a lot of... Uh, Music or like new music lately, so I'll, I'll pick like a oldest song. I'll pick Katy um, Perry, "Lost Souls" by Baby Keem. Good Shout song. Outs. Very good song. Yeah. Thank you for watching the Joystick Show, episode one hundred and eleven. Get Jesus yourself Christ. a pizza. Only like two and a half years doing this fucking podcast. It's not two and a half. Like two and two, but regardless, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. It was a fun time. You got to watch and listen to three of us eat because I'm a fucking professional. I eat over here. Oh, I try to be respectful. Down. When I have to eat, I cut to their side of the table. I go over here and then chew. So the fucking it's a hard Swallow. it's a hard life to live being a podcast it host. It really at, is at eleven o'clock at night when you haven't eaten anything. But feed the anyway, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I thought somebody was gonna jump in with something. No, feed feed the camera a slice. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna tell the camera to subscribe to Team Joystick. And get their own slice. So like this episode of the Joystick Show, for some reason, it feels like this episode came and went. I think it had something to do with, with the fact pizza. that it took about two hours to set the fuck up. But uh, I'm happy. I'm, I'm actually really glad with the conversations that we had done. Yeah, it's always fun when the four of us get together. Yeah. And uh, last thing I'm going to say is it'd be cool if you guys come back next week. Check us out next Wednesday because uh, the four of us will be back together at this table. And it's going to be... Spooky. It's gonna Ooh. be scary. Halloweeny. It's gonna be real Halloweeny. Gonna be, it's gonna be. I know. I know. We've had some some spookiness around on the show, but it's gonna be like the big one, the big in. So you're gonna be. You're gonna. You're gonna want to be around for that. I promise you. But from all of us here at Joystick, um, bye. We salute you. <laughs> <laughs>